Virgin Australia is leading the way when it comes to our furry friends taking to the skies. Let's go live to Isabella Stashkowski at Melbourne Airport. Is a good morning to you. No snakes on planes. <laughs> no snakes on planes, only some furry friends. But how could you say no to this little man? This is my new friend Henri and this is his little outfit ready for the plane with his little tie on. So this is the dream by Virgin Airlines. They are hoping that by the end of the year we could bring small cats and small dogs onto planes on some domestic flights. This will be for some designated rows, so if you're not an animal person, don't worry about that. They're still working out things like the cost, but you would need to put your little furry friend in a little carrier when you're getting to the airport and then while on board as well. But wouldn't it make a domestic flight so much more exciting? If you had a little peek over to your left and there was a little pooch or a little kitten. We've been having a chat to some travellers at the airport this morning and here's what they had to say. Do you think that cats and dogs should be allowed on domestic flights? Yes. Yes. Because we've transferred animals on flights before. So you'd be happy if you got on and someone had their little kitten or their little puppy Fine. next to you? Not a problem. So look, Carl, for dogs like Henri, he is going to probably be able to fit in that carry. I'm not so sure about your German Shepherds, but I reckon you could shove them in and get them on board. Head up somewhere for a holiday up north, maybe like Noosa. Hey, is <laughs> Should be careful. Hey, Isa, before you go, just give us your, your little doggy um, language. You know how people talk in dog language? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Sounds a lot like my dog language. <laughs> okay, I'll see that one. Brookie, give us some dog language. Oh, you are such a good boy. You are such a good boy. Okay, yes, Sarah. You are. Sarah, you're up. Come on. Sit. Sit. Ooh. Sit. She's, yes. a crank. She's a cranky mum. <laughs> Come on, Alice. Give us one. You know where I'm from. Yeah. Country New Zealand. Yeah. Get out. Sit down. Yeah. Get out of it. Get out. Don't think you're coming inside. No. Get outside. <laughs> Well, Virgin Airlines is on track to make history, announcing its intention to be the country's first airline to operate flights with pets in the cabin. For more, we're joined live by Virgin CEO Jane Herdlicker. Jane, good morning to you. Is that your little pet there? Well, this is gorgeous little Marcel, and... Uh, the key thing here is small dog. <laughs> um, so I'm just delighted to have Marcel and Henri's floating around somewhere. The gorgeous little cavoodles, Carl. All right. Um, so, I mean, I, I was going to start with... My dogs are a little bigger than this. Same, same. I was going to start with cancellations. On-time schedules have gone to the dogs, but that would be cheap. I'll do that much later. Um, so what are the rules, regulations around pets? Shot. Well, look, we're really excited to be, you know, giving Australians the opportunity to travel with their fur babies like gorgeous little Marcel here. Um, small dogs, small cats only. So no snakes, rabbits, hamsters. Those guys unfortunately have to stay home, but small dogs and small cats in a carrier that sits in, um, in the compartment just underneath the seat in front of you. And they won't come out during the aircraft uh, flight and they can't be out in the airport, even though gorgeous Marcel is right now. Don't you think this uniform's quite cute? Yeah, it's cute. Um, what about... Uh, so it'll be really fun. What about... Yeah, my, really fun. my uncle Rob's got a cockatoo. Uh, uh, cockatoos out? Cockatoos are out, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Small so the... dogs and small cats, and that's it. All right, and, and will you have to pay the same and price all, as a well, seat? The other important thing is... Yeah, go on. Uh, we're just working through the details on that now. Yeah. And uh, the other thing for people who aren't excited about dogs and cats being allowed on board, they don't need to worry because there'll be a specific number of designated rows and, uh, and the dogs and the cats will be in a carrier underneath the seat in front. For parents of fur babies, it's an awesome opportunity. For the small business community that sits around the pet industry, for hotels that are pet friendly, that want to have little Marcel in their... Uh, in their um, uh, accommodation, mm. you know, it's just a great opportunity because we can start moving pets around the country more freely, which is great. My, my biggest concern is it's already, a, you know, a, a fight at the airports um, and, and it's already difficult on planes with all the, the onboard luggage that people are taking on. I mean, what is the size of a dog? What are the specifics? And you, can you imagine the Barney Rubbles that are going to go on? How are you going to get through that? Oh, look, I think it's pretty straightforward because you have to have a, a pre-approved carrier and that carrier size has to fit in the seat underneath you, um, the seat um, space underneath you, um, under, underneath the seat in front of you. 
So it's a really predefined space. All right. um, dogs like mine, dogs like yours, they're not going to make it. So, no, you can squeeze uh, them but in. But if I get a new puppy, you know, <laughs> that new puppy's going to be, yeah, the new puppy's going to be good. All right. Um, how, how long have you got left um, as boss of Virgin? Um, and, and how's the search going for your replacement? I, I hear Olivia Worth's just left Qantas. Is there any chance that she's going to be uh, in the running? Well, look, I'm just so honoured, Carl, to have had the opportunity to, you know, be part of the Virgin Australia story. You know, the darkest of times, toughest of times during COVID, um, our toughest times as a company. And uh, we're 7,500 people strong now. We're profitable. We've got clear plans to continue growing. And, uh, you know, we've rebuilt almost every part of the airline. So now's the right juncture to bring somebody else in new. In my mind, there's another three to five years in the next phase of the journey. I'm four in, and the first two were, no pun intended, dog years. <laughs> and um, so I I'm, re I'm really excited to help the next person transition in, whenever that might be. Yeah. And these, these processes, sorry, these processes take time. So, yeah, so I'm really honored and really excited about what the next chapter looks like and, and super keen to welcome the next CEO of Virgin Australia, whenever that might be. Good on you. Um, look, you've, you've had your own personal um, hardships through that journey, and I, and I think you're awesome. Well done. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Sarah. Well, Virgin is inviting furry friends on board its flights in Australia in an Australia First plan. Let's go live to Isabella Stashkovsky at Melbourne Airport. Isa, good morning. Uh, what's the reaction from the travellers and the good boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of good boys around who are very keen on a brook. I know that Alex and Carl were a bit of fun police a little earlier, but everyone that we're speaking to at the airport here is really all for it. So if this does occur, it would mean that from next year on domestic virgin flights, people could bring their cats and their dogs onto that flight with them. They'd be stowed away just in front of them in a little carrier that would be approved by Virgin. So very exciting stuff. And look, I think it would be pretty amazing to be getting on a flight and seeing a beautiful little dog or a cat. And here are some kids that we spoke to just a little earlier and they had this to say. Do you think that cats and dogs should be allowed on planes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Cats and dogs on planes? Say yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Why not? Because I never saw one on a plane before. What if they're allowed to go on planes from next year? Would you like that? Yes. Big dogs or just little dogs? Little dogs. <laughs> And look, don't worry about the German Shepherds, Carl, because we've got dogs like Marcel here, who is at the airport bright and early for us, wearing this cabin crew outfit. So very on brand with Virgin, very excited to get away, maybe to Perth or to Broome. Where'd you like to go, Marcel? Sounds like oh, a yes. Fiji. Okay, so we'll have to go to Fiji together and we'll, we'll be filming some lovely footage for you guys. But look, Marcel's on board, the kids are on board, I'm on board. I think it's going to happen. I think it should happen. <laughs> you might need separate planes though for cats and dogs. Like Imagine famously, they, 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 they don't get along. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Separate <laughs> cabins, that's for sure. The kids want a dog at the moment too. Oh. oh yeah. That battle, eh? Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it? Okay. Oh, mate, you don't need to add to the mayhem. <laughs> they want one of those sorts of dogs actually. <laughs> Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our <laughs> YouTube channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?